Uh, this is job number 19640. It's called Crossroads Park Place in Bellevue, and it's for Continental Realty. Curbing, seal coat, and stripe, but I've also added some asphalt because of an area that they want to put new curbing. So before we walk the property, let me give you some quantities on the asphalt. There's a four foot by 17 foot, a four foot by 17 foot patch, uh, three inch asphalt on that. And then there is a 133 feet by 12 inch, which is going to be right here. We're gonna rip out this curb. As you can see all the way down here, rip out this curb and put in asphalt underneath. <clears throat> Same thing on this. Instead of moving the curbing out onto the asphalt here and shortening up the, the stalls, I offered to rip out the curb and put in asphalt down there. The two other asphalt patches, those four foot by 17s, are right here. It's tree root damage in both of them. Uh, well, not tree root damage, there's just tree roots. One here and one over here. So we're going to take out those two pieces of curb as well as these two pieces of curb. Rip out the two tree roots, little stumps that are inside there. This one's been ripped out. This one I think has actually been ripped out and that's just a little bit of gravel plus some small roots in here. But we would take out the shrubs here and just fill this with asphalt. So that way we can run brand new curbing all the way down around the edge there and back. Okay, so four foot by 17, four foot by 17, and then 133 feet by 12 inch. So, or by one foot of asphalt right there. Uh, as far as the curbing goes too, uh, we're not gonna add any asphalt here. We're just gonna bring the curbing out and tie this in and make it one big island so that they can backfill it. All right, um, the seal coat measurement and the striping for this property is already on an existing bid that we've done. And that job number was 16795. You can look for the quantities for seal coating and striping on that. Uh, for crack filling, if there isn't a crack fill quantity on that other job number, then please go ahead and throw in about 200 feet of crack fill. Okay, so um, curb quantity. Let me get you this curb quantity real fast here. 228 feet total, six by eight inch curbing. I'll show you what that looks like up here at the front of the property. You've got this section in here in the back, which as you can see is pretty quiet. It's pretty quiet back here. I'm parked back here, no one's bothered me this whole time, so it's pretty open and available for staging. You do have a, a height clearance here that I haven't pulled out a measuring tape yet, but it looks to be about 15 feet tall, so I think we're in the clear there as far as driving underneath. On this curb repair in the back, we're going to leave this little section of curbing right here because it's up against those uh, bricks. So we're going to leave that and then do a saw cut right at the expansion joint on this side. And then on the other side, we're going to end up doing the same thing, leaving this section of curbing and then starting right there at the expansion joint. Okay, so now. For seal coating purposes, on both sides of the building, there is uh, covered walkways, or covered drive aisles, I should say. So, uh, we need to know that when we seal coat this, it's going to be shaded for a while. So, that's one thing we got to know about that. Uh, so, we move up towards the front see that the asphalt is in pretty decent condition we don't have to do any power washing here's the front 
couple areas of curbing to have to do. And my measurements for curbing. I've got a couple pictures that I'm going to save to Google Drive. But we're going to start right off the corner here and just die at an angle of the curbing here. Run around the edge and then go out to the uh, sidewalk there and just taper it down. Over here, same thing. Curbing will come down and then if we could do a 45 on the curb right here to the corner of this run the curbing up and then uh, run it with the edge of the asphalt here and then taper it down to this concrete foundation that would be awesome two entrances here where there's also curbing on this side so we'll start right there at the uh, sidewalk on the joint there run it straight down and then stop just at the corner of this uh, block there curbing over here same thing goes around and then ends at the corner got a couple ADA stalls in here and some crosshatch striping this is all shaded right here so keep that in mind when it's seal coating I think that's all we need for now. The highest priority on this job is the curbing. They really want to get the curbing in for the landscapers. And so that means we're going to have to do a little bit of asphalt work first. Fill in these areas back here and rip out the existing curbing. Put down a little bit of asphalt in the back here. And then come out with a crew to do the curbing. And then seal coat striping. Should be able to seal coat it in a day and you should be able to stripe it. There's not very many stalls. There's like 70, 70 ish parking stalls and an 18 inch fire lane. No parking fire lane here at the end. Any other questions? Let me know. Thank you very much.